Yes, hello and welcome to this video about the live stream design. Introduction, outlining and general search results. Searching for live stream design and explanation of what it is. This video will be in five sections. Uh, number one, we will look at the results from the search that I did for if this kind of method was, if anyone was doing this on the internet. Then what is live stream design that will be explained and comparison with previous business models and what makes live stream design unique. Uh, where did this idea come from for live stream design and where can we find more information. So let's dive into this. Results from the online searches. Now what was being searched? I was searching for has anyone been doing live stream designing in a live video on the internet. The general results from all those six websites where the search was conducted was that instances of what here is called live stream designing were not found. Most probably that method has never been used before in the fields where I was searching for it, or it is very obscure so that it cannot be found, at least not using English search terms. Uh, the search was done on these six websites. Google, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram and Periscope. And uh, I recorded screencast videos while I was doing this. And this lasted for more than three hours. And it was done on November 17 on 2017. And the results were that I, I couldn't find that anyone had been doing anything similar to this. So it was a total duration. This is this is a duration of the videos, a total of three and a half hours almost. And the search keywords that were used, there were about 20 uh, combinations of search keywords for each of these uh, uh, websites. Uh, and uh, there were maybe a few, maybe up to 10 or 15 search results pages that I went through trying to find out if anyone had been doing this. So the search keywords were live video, live stream, streaming, design, designing, creating, and then niche specific keywords. They were, were combined into search phrases, various combinations of these words. Now, after the, now after I had uh, uh, recorded all these uh, searches in a screencast videos, they were uploaded to YouTube and they are here. Uh, currently they are unlisted so that they cannot be found, but they, I will uh, embed them into the website livestreamdesigncut.com. They are here, uh, as you can see, searching on Google here, 49 minutes, searching on Facebook, 50 minutes, 51 minutes, uh, searching on YouTube, 36 minutes, searching on Vimeo, 42 minutes, searching on Instagram. That you don't have, you know, an hour long videos on Instagram. Uh, so that was just 10 minutes I spent there and Periscope, which is a, a direct a live video um, service uh, website owned by uh, Twitter. And uh, that is 11 minutes. Uh, they, they are also relatively, I couldn't find any any uh, instance of, of this of this live stream design. I wasn't searching for live stream design under the name live stream design because uh, that, that's a name I created myself. I was searching for the uh, descriptive words that people would use if they had done something like this. And as I said, I couldn't find any instance of that. Now, number two, what is live stream designing? And you may be asking yourself, what is it that I'm talking about here? Live stream designing is a kind of a method or, 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 or organizing the work of designing and introducing and showing and selling and manufacturing and delivering designed uh, goods. It, it consists of creating new designs in a design program on a computer. The designer is alone or he gets suggestions from viewers or guests. And the process as the designer is creating the new design is streamed directly in a live video on the internet. Now, right after the designer has finished the, the pro product, the new design, the new design is uploaded into the internet and it can be ordered immediately. And then it is produced and fulfilled by manufacture and print on demand uh, services and dropshipping services. 
So more specifically, what was being searched? Has anyone been doing live stream designing in a live video on the internet? And the, the field where I was searching for was in, in fashion, luxury, accessories, home decoration products and these kinds of things. This is where a, create, where a designer creates a new design in a design program on computer. This process can be watched in a live stream video on the internet while the designer is doing this. And the audience can comment and suggest. Now, right after the design is ready, the new design is available to order. The live stream video can then be watched later on as a recording. And the product that the designer was designing can be ordered as long as the product is available. Because the product is, in fact, a a, a digital file. In these instances here, we're talking about designs that are printed, where the, the shapes and the forms and the colors are printed on the surface of the product, on, on the outside of the product, on the outside of the clothes, on the, on the luxury item, on the accessory, on the home product. But this is, in fact, although I wasn't searching for that, but this is a method of where the designer is creating something and the designer is streaming the process live on the internet and then the people who are watching this they can order the new product immediately this can also be done if the designer is working in a 3d design program and the product will be 3d printed somewhere around the world uh, what the designer is actually creating is a, a digital file and uh, it, theoretically speaking, this can be done with those types of products also, not just the products that I was actually searching for. Now, it should be said that there are videos, there are live streams, for instance, on YouTube recordings where people are using these uh, design programs. But the point is that these live stream videos were with the purpose of showing how to use these programs. These are teaching programs. These are not live stream videos where the designer was designing an actual product for immediate sale and production. But in the field of fashion, luxury products, accessories, home decoration products, I couldn't find any instance where a designer had been doing it as it is defined here. Now, this is a method or it's an organization of the um, kind of the building blocks of, of, of the whole industrial process. It is innovative in some fundamental ways. You can even say that it's revolutionary when you look at the interaction between the designer and the market. In my say, I think it's, you can say that it is a new business model. It is a re-engineering or reorganization of the general industrial process of creating or designing a new product, of showing it, of selling it, producing it and delivering the designed printed product to the buyer. Now let us take a closer look. Here comes section three, comparison with previous business models and what makes this new business model unique. Previous business models, the most uh, common business model in, in, in terms of the fashion industry or, or maybe even accessories, home decoration products and the like, the designer designs a product. And the designer or the designer's team, the design team, does this in kind of a solitude, in secrecy. And then when the design is ready, then there is a show. And sometimes actually the show is being live streamed, but they are live streaming the showing of the product. They are not live streaming the design process itself. Now in the, in the show, the, the, the buyers, which often are shops, they can order the products. Then the products are manufactured and sent to the stores that display the products and the customer can then take a look at the product and buy it and get it delivered over the counter. This is uh, the traditional business model in ready to wear. Then we have other business models like bespoke or, or, or customized uh, custom products like, like the high fashion or haute couture. It is slightly different, but it's also there. This is cascading instead of the shops ordering uh, the products, it is the person, the individual who is buying these very expensive products, and then the product is made in one copy for that particular buyer. Uh, but the, the main the main stream, the greatest majority of people are not customers of these in these of this kind, they buy ready to wear finished products. And so it's a kind of a cascading uh, organization. 
it first the designer designs then there is a show then the buyers can order then it's manufactured then it's sent to the shop and then the customer can buy now live stream designing is basically different in fundamental ways the designer is designing something and the designer is showing the design process in a live stream directly in real time and people can watch this as the designer is trying different colors and doing this and that and creating color combinations and the customers can watch this and comment and they can make requests they can come up with suggestions and the designer can respond immediately to those in real time and then when the product is ready this could take maybe 10 minutes it could take half an hour this could possibly take one hour i don't think it would be good to let it take more than one hour because people don't have the time to watch this for such a long time right after it's finished the product which actually is just a digital file in a computer is uploaded to the internet and it is made ready to buy then when one person has purchased one piece or, or maybe more pieces of the new product then it is produced for that buyer it is manufactured on demand as it's called in, in what i was looking at it is print on demand it is a printed product you can print on t-shirts you can print on dresses you can print on fabric you can print on various accessories and things that is how they are manufactured and when they are ready they are delivered uh, and they are shipped to the customer that's called the drop shipping and the time this takes is varied it is theoretically possible to 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 envision a a setup of a manufacturing facility of this kind where the customer buys a product right after the designer has been designing it and the customer was watching while the designer was creating the design and the customer even came up with his or her own requests and suggestions and wishes and the designer may have responded directly and immediately to those wishes and suggestions and the customer buys it and theoretically speaking it, it is possible to envision that the manufacturing process starts right away i mean within minutes and the product can even be ready within i don't know 30 minutes one hour two hours and when it's ready it's sent directly uh, via express to the buyer and and arrives at the buyer's doorstep less than 24 hours later but then in those print on demand services the manufacturing time today is generally speaking five to eight days and then the delivery can take one or two days if it's express or maybe it can take up to 30 days if it's international with uh, ordinary shipping so uh, it is also possible that the designer is designing and, and shop buyers are watching this too and they are buying and then it's manufactured and then it goes through that that process it is possible that we have a a a, a mixed where they were both individuals buying or there are shops buying one thing about this is in in the fashion industry is the problem that designers have been um, facing which is about copying there are designers who are sweating their brow of uh, creating new designs being creative being truly designing something new and in the old days there was also there was always a time between when the designer showed his or her new designs and they were manufactured and they were ready in the shops and it was a certain time before those who wanted to copy the designs were able to bring their products their copies to the market this is changing because these uh, guys who are some people are saying that they are basically just copying those who are truly creative designers and they are cashing in on the uh, creativity of the designer without the designer uh, seeing any money for that these guys are getting faster and faster and sometimes today it is so that be before the, the, there was a designer show and then there was six months before it hit the shops but now the the, uh, the show is also um, often live streamed directly you can watch the shows of the the, the biggest designers the best known fashion houses you can watch them live and not just ordinary people are watching them live also those guys who would like to copy and uh, copy the new designs copy the new looks and so sometimes it has happened that these 
copycats, they are able to bring their knockoff products, as it's called, to the market before the actual original designer manages to bring those products to the market. And that has been a very challenging situation for designers. But what we see in live stream designing is that it is super fast. It, is, it allows for super customization, direct response to buyer requests, a perfect match with the, the buyer's uh, wishes. There is no capital in finished in products inventory because the, the, the products aren't made until after they have been bought. So there is no overstock. And this can be offered uh, the designer who is hosting the live stream design uh, event. The designer can actually decide who is seeing the live stream design event. It can be just one customer. It can be a selected few customers or it can be open live on Facebook or YouTube and anyone, anyone can watch it. But this is a process that is so fast that copycats cannot possibly bring their, uh, their copies before the original designer who does it in this way. Uh, it can be used in other fields also where print on demand is, is applicable in home decor, some luxury products, accessories, and then there is 3D printing, as I said. But that's another field, that's not my field, but it is quite possible to imagine that a person is creating something uh, in a live stream design uh, event, and, and, and then it is available to buy immediately uh, as a 3D printed object. That is another opportunity, and maybe someone is doing it already, but at least in, in the field of clothes, fashion, accessories, home decoration products, I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that people were doing this. So here is, in short, a, a comparison of these two business models, the traditional business model, which is kind of cascading and takes a long time, can take many weeks or many months. Uh, sometimes it was more than half a year, this process, where the person, the designer is first designing, then showing it, then it's produced, and then it's available in the shops. But live stream design kind of turns this on its head, it's something completely new going on here. The design is the show. The design process is the show. Uh, the people watching can comment and, and come up with their own requests and, and wishes, and they can buy it directly immediately afterwards. It can go into production now. It can potentially, if, if the production company is set up in that way, then it can potentially uh, be very fast. The production can take just a few hours, and then it's bam, bam, it's delivered. So this is the comparison of those two, the original business model and this live stream design, which is in fact a new business model. Uh, as I said, the creative process is the show. It is not as it was before that a designer designs a new product, creates a new product, the kind of reclusive, maybe a genius in, in solitude is, is thinking and, and, and sketching and and creating something new and creating the piece that can be shown and then there is a show. No, here the creative process itself is the show. And those who are watching are witnessing and even participating in the living creative process itself. This is a light speed process implemented through optical cable internet connection and direct to consumer manufacture, print on demand, manufacture on demand and with speedy parcel delivery. This is faster than fast, and as I said, the designer can choose who is watching the process. Now, live stream design, it is potentially a new and exciting way to design and present new designs in the fields of fashion, luxury accessories, home decor, and of course, also various 3D, uh, three-dimensional objects. Uh, now, design is often a silent, lengthy process so you really need to set this up in such a way that it is a live process that is interesting to watch. There is something happening. There is something happening within a, a kind of uh, realistic frame of time so that people actually have time to watch this and, and people will actually enter, be entertained and they will be interested in watching this. So there, there may be some uncertainty. You don't know what will come out of this. You don't know if someone who is watching this somewhere will come up with some unbelievable uh, suggestion and the designer uh, 
reacts immediately to that suggestion what comes out of that you don't know you're watching this and you it's it is alive you don't know what is going to happen so it, it can be blended with a little bit of drama of course it is with this new method that some will have what it takes to do this well and to do it in such a way that it's interesting and, and people are entertained and people are enticed and people will buy then there will be someone else who, who really doesn't get a hang of it, it, it and then, of course, it is also important that the brand or the designer that is having a live stream event of this kind, how famous is that designer? What kind of following does the designer or the brand already have? For instance, on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and so on and so forth. Uh, if it is an international superstar with millions of followers on Instagram, then you can expect that people will be very interested in the event. If it's someone who isn't known at all, it may be less. Uh, I have already hosted my first live stream design event. It was on Facebook on December 30, 2017. And you can see glimpses of it here. Now, Look Viking was an absolutely new brand with no following anywhere and nobody knew about it. So there weren't that many following this, but it was technically a success. There was no big mistakes made and I was quite happy about it, but it certainly did not uh, get any attention in the world media. So time will tell if this new approach will gain ground. We don't know. But now this new way of doing things, live stream design has hereby been defined and described. And I hope that you who are watching this, I hope you understand what this is about. Uh, now, today, when we're talking about this print-on-demand, manufacturer-on-demand services, there are there is a quite a few, a good number of products that can be made in this way. They are available today. It's not a huge variety, but there, there are quite quite a few products that can be made in this way. But in the future, we can envision that a much greater availability of basic products will be available in the flexible, fast, on-demand production space. Now, and with digital computer technology, artificial intelligence, flexible manufacturing, I mean, where are the limits in this? The limits are, in fact, far away if, if we look into the future. Uh, now, it should be noted that this is a method that cannot be patented. I'm not thinking about patenting this because it's not possible. It is simply a new method that anyone can do, technically speaking, and it combines solutions that are readily available and have been created by others. Now, where did this idea come from for live stream design? Uh, I was myself creating uh, uh, products for uh, the pet industry, still under development. And connected to that, I was thinking about maybe I could offer some products, design products myself, like T-shirts and, you know, the, the, the usual stuff. But there was also many years ago that I was thinking about making uh, um, uh, scarves and perhaps some other types of products in the Viking uh, styles. So, and then I started thinking, well, why not, why not do the design in a live video and simply allow people to watch while the creation is going on? So, of course, I asked myself, who has been doing that? And the answer was, it seems like nobody. People might enjoy watching this and, and people might... Uh, you know, comment and come up with their own uh, wishes and so their own suggestions and, and thereby they would participate in the process. And then I could create new and new and new and new color combinations because you can create a completely different world, completely different uh, atmosphere through different colors. Now, there were various things that were an inspiration behind this idea for live stream designing. Uh, there are many people who are doing things on Facebook and YouTube and they're doing it live. For instance, there was a potter named Joel Cherico on Facebook and uh, the DJ Deadmau5 has also been doing live things. And uh, the audience is not just passive, they are communicating with the audience and they are allowing the audience to maybe even influence what is going on. Then there are many arts and crafts videos uh, on uh, Facebook, for instance, that tend to be very popular. People like watching this and this is what kind of where the inspiration among others came from. So where can you find more information about live stream designing? This will be on the website livestreamdesign.com where more information and new live streams will be posted in the future.
Now I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you were informed and entertained and maybe you have become interested in live stream design. Thank you very much.